Hi everybody, it's Dana back with another quick tip video for you. These are quick practical tips you can use at home for staying safe and healthy during this whole virus outbreak. And today I want to talk just for a minute about masks because there's been a lot of conflicting information about whether it's worth wearing a mask or whether it could even have a negative impact by carrying the virus or something like that. So it is possible that some of the reasons the Surgeon General has been saying not to wear them is because there was such a shortage on them and they didn't want us to feel like we couldn't get something we needed. I don't know. But um, it really seems to be that wearing a mask is a good thing. So masks, yes. Um, and some of the information I want to give you to back that up, there. and if you don't have like a special mask, that's fine because uh, homemade masks are really, really good too. So there was a study done showing that a homemade mask made from a cotton t-shirt is 70% effective and that one made from a tea towel or a dish towel is 83% effective. And if we had something that effective that everybody was doing, we would completely stop the spread of this virus. Um, and they have found in studies, and these are against the specific like COVID SARS-2 virus that it's effective against them. And I also wanted to share, there was a good article in the Washington Post about this, that uh, there are places where everybody going out in public. So one of the recommended things that we could kind of step up. So the numbers in the United States are not great. Death rate is rising. We have not, we are not trending in the right direction yet. So if you want to step up what you're doing, wearing a mask every time you go out in public is a really, really good idea. There are um, a number of places. Let me, I have a little list here for you. Um, so Hong Kong, Mongolia, South Korea, and Taiwan all have this virus virus under pretty much good control. They're near the epicenter of the pandemic. Um, they are, you know, they have a lot of travel going back and forth with China. None of them are on a lockdown. And yet they have this under good control. And one of the things that they're doing is Everybody is wearing a mask when they go out in public, even if it's a homemade mask. So this is sort of like practical on the ground proof that it really, really changes the curve. So bottom line is um, yes. And let's see, there was in the Washington Post article, it says 34 scientific papers indicate basic masks can be effective in reducing virus transmission in public and not a single um, at paper shows clear evidence that they cannot. So the evidence seems to be largely in favor of wearing a mask every time you go out in public as one of the things we can do to really, really change that curve. So, okay, I'm going on about the same thing here, but masks, yes. And the other thing, of course, that you can always do is to strengthen your own immune system. Uh, tomorrow or the next day, I want to come back on these quick tips and talk about what, what, how is it so different when we're dealing with some kind of bacterial infection versus a viral infection? And one of the big ways is that our own immune system is so important with virus because there aren't good drugs to treat it. So working with your own immune system can be really important. And I have put together an immune system protocol for you. And you can learn more at my website, danalavoislaccom forward slash herbs dash course to learn about the immune system protocol that I have put together. Uh, if you're interested. So check it out. Think about wearing a mask every time you go out in public, whether you are sick or not. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. All right. I hope you're doing well and I will see you soon. Bye.